In this video, we will talk about the electroscope, its structure, its parts, its function, how to use it, and we will interpret different scenarios where the electroscope is being used differently. First, the electroscope is an instrument for detecting and measuring electricity. So it detects the existence of electric charge, and it can give an approximation of how strong this charge is. This is a real electroscope. We have this part, this plate is called the knob. We have the metallic rod. They are both conductors. They are insulated using an insulator from the container, the black frame. And we have this leaflet and this leaflet, two leaflets. Okay, so if we wanted to see a drawing of the electroscope, a simplified one. Okay, so we have the knob, the rod, the leaflets, they are all conductors. We have the insulator to insulate this system from the container. And uh, that's it. How an electroscope works. If we look at the electroscope, as we mentioned before, we have this knob, the rod, and the leaflets. They are all conductors and connected together. So if I bring a charged object and I put it in contact with this knob, let's assume we place a negatively charged object in direct contact with this knob. According to the rule of transfer of electrons for conductors, the conductors will go from the object that carries more electrons to the object that carries less electrons. So between negative and the neutral, we will say the negatively charged object has more electrons. So once you put it in contact with this knob, the electrons will go from the negatively charged object to the knob, making it negatively charged, making the rod negatively charged, and the leaflets negatively charged, which means that they are both negatively charged, so they will repel each other. Now, if we put a positively charged object in direct contact with a neutral electroscope, according to the same rule of transfer of electrons, the electrons will transfer from the electroscope to the positively charged object, leaving the knob positively charged, the rod, pos the rod positively charged, and the leaflets positively charged. They will also repel. So when a charged object is brought in contact with the knob of the electroscope, there will be a transfer of electrons, charges or electrons. It will take place resulting in charging the knob, the rod and the leaflets. So once the leaflets are charged, they will repel. They will both carry the same polarity. So we have a positively charged object placed next to the knob of the electroscope. It attracts the electrons up from the rod and the leaflets. They go up. See, we had electrons. They went up to the knob. They gathered on the knob to form a negative pole and we have a positive pole on the other side so the leaflets are both positively charged and they repel another case also a neutrally charged object in this case we will put the positively charged object in direct contact with the knob so we expect the electrons to go from the electroscope which was neutral to the positively charged object remember electrons in conductors are transferred from the object with more electrons or rich in electrons to the object with less electrons so the electroscope lost electrons the whole electroscope becomes positively charged the leaflets are positively charged they will repel so again the positively charged object is placed in direct contact with the knob of the electroscope the electrons transfer from the knob to the object. So the electroscope lost electrons. It became all positively charged. The leaflets are positively charged and they repel. Okay. Another case. Now we already have an electroscope that is positively charged. And we put a positive charge. When I say an electroscope is positively charged, it doesn't mean that it has no electrons. No, it has electrons. But the number of positive charges is more than the number of negative charges. So we have few electrons. When I put this object in direct contact with the electroscope, it will 
pull the electrons that are still there in the rod and the leaflets up. It will attract them up. So the magnitude of the positive charge on the rod and the leaflets has increased. Okay, back to the initial state. The electroscope was positively charged in this case, so the leaflets were repelling. Now, when the positive charge on the leaflets increased, the repulsion is more. This is what we meant at the beginning. We measure the strength of the charge or strength of electricity. So, the electroscope is positively charged and then a positively charged object is placed on the knob. Okay, we have the leaflets already repelling, as you see. The electrons will go up through the rod to the knob. Why? Because this positively charged object attracts them upwards, leaving the leaflets with a stronger positive charge, so there will be a stronger repulsion. Now we will talk about grounding. Grounding is the process of removing the excess charge on an object by means of the transfer of electrons between it and another object or to the ground. Which means that if we have an, a negatively charged object, to remove its charge, we should reduce the amount of electrons on it so that we can reach a balance where the number of electrons and the number of protons are equal so that it gets or it goes neutral. Now, for a positively charged object, to make it neutral, we have to add more electrons. Let's see how this happens. We have a positively charged object. When I connect it to the ground, the ground is considered as a huge tank or reservoir that contains charges. So it will interact with the ground. How? It is positive. For it to become a neutral, it needs electrons, so it will get electrons from the ground. So electrons will go from the ground to the object, to the positively charged object, until it reaches a point where the number of electrons and the number of protons are both equal. If we had it a negatively charged object, to become neutral, it needs to get rid of some electrons until the number of electrons and the number of protons are equal so it releases electrons to the ground this is grounding